how do I find that lasting, mm. fulfilling love? And the key, I believe, and I'm sure you agree, <laughs> I'm speaking for you, is personal growth and, and uh, individuation, uh, as Jung would say, is knowing who you are and constantly in that growth mode versus that stagnation of, I kind of, you know, very uh, externally focused, you know, acquiring earthly things, but not really developing spiritually mm -hmm. um, and growing yourself and individuating from the ego and really going beyond breaking the bonds of the body and the psychology, <laughs> the conditioning, and really having another really um, a higher level of love that we can have. Um, they In the Greek, uh, Greeks, they call it the agape, mm -hmm. that higher spiritual love. So... I would think that that's really love in its purest sense. Yeah, I mean, ideally, I would say that this biological urge to merge, the urge to merge, mm -hmm. and then the the psychological, emotional experience of bonding is leading us towards that agape, mm -hmm. to the, the opening up of the heart, to understanding that, oh, we're all the... We're all seeking the same thing, mm. right? But all the spiritual traditions teach this, that you need to cultivate that. Mm. That, yes, that's there, but you need to work at it. In other words... It doesn't if, happen by uh, on default. Exactly. If you follow simply the natural urges that are in your mind-body system... Uh, it, they're going to lead you simply to sex and and, uh, and lust and and kind of wanting more and more and heartache. But yeah. without your deepening that understanding of what is this experience of love and, mm. and of having kids and wanting to bond with people, it's leading you towards that deeper realization that we're all connected. Mm. That all life is worth nurturing and taking care of. That's that's agape, right? It's a universal love, not only for your family, but for everyone and everything. Yeah, there's a difference between wanting someone to stay with you because they're safe and they make you feel safe on a biological level. You know, I feel comfortable mm -hmm. with this person and they're staying with me. Uh, to the consistency of having this deeper spiritual connection because that's that unchanging part of ourselves. And to, to connect with a person on that level, like your unchanging self and my unchanging self, like the divine in me recognizes the divine in you, there's something that, that will transcend the body and the mind. And, and really, it's a, it's a, it feels like when I met you, I said, I felt, everyone asked, like, what did it feel like? And I said, it felt different. It wasn't that wild, it was flurfy, yes. I mean, you have all those other elements. You have the sexual element and the flirtatious, mm -hmm. but it had this other element that I'd never experienced before, and it was a feeling of being home. Like, I've returned home. Like, there was something deeply familiar about you and your energy. Like, your energy was just so grounded. I don't know if you thought the same way about me, but it's just kind of that recognition, and it's something that's beyond the the kind of the, I hope he likes me, or I hope we, you know, we're going to have sex soon or um, flirtatiousness. It was just this other place, and mm -hmm. um, and I think that it's it's the potential is there for everyone, as long as both parties are on the path of growth. And so, if you're on the path of growth, I highly encourage you to check in and ask yourself: Is your partner or your the partners you're dating are they on a path of growth? Because if you are growing and they're stagnating, eventually there's going to be a disconnect. And mm. so you want to really find someone who's open to where you are at. If you're not into personal growth, then it doesn't matter. It's like, fine, you find another person to <laughs> biologically connect with. Um, but, but I think a lot of you listening are, I know a lot of you listening are um, on a spiritual path and and it's so important. I remember when I was single before I met you, my friends would be like, don't worry about finding a guy who's spiritual. Some matchmaker told me, you can teach him. You can teach him. I'm like, I don't want to teach anyone. I want someone <laughs> who I can have conversations with and we can learn from each other. And, um, and I think that's really, um, I think we've been together 16 years almost. And we it's always new because we're always growing you and i are always evolving so it can never get stagnant and that's really when we answer the question of what creates lasting love 
is that you are with someone who's a partner on your journey yeah. uh, beyond just the biological and the psychological patterns that you're really transcending into something really wonderful. And uh, I mean, not, those things are nice too, but it's just that other level of love that I think many people seek 